Welcome back to SourceFed, I'm Steve Zaragoza. Potatoes are delicious, but in my opinion, no potato is worth roughly $1.8 million, and definitely not a photo of a potato. But some insane businessmen believe the contrary and bought a roughly $1.8 million photo of a potato. The identity of the businessman is unknown, but according to Business Insider, photographer Kevin Abosh sold the portrait last year and just now mentioned it in an interview published last week. Abosh is known for snapping photos of tech and Silicon Valley big shots. His photos showcase a black backdrop and a single light used to light his subjects, in this case a potato. The photograph, titled Potato Number 345, marks Abosh's biggest commission yet. He normally charges anywhere from $150,000 to $500,000 for commissions. Apparently the guy who bought it did so after seeing it in Abosh's home and after drinking a bunch of wine. So that might explain why he paid a million dollars for a photo of a potato. Literally it's a digital camera photo of a potato. I want to die. And when asked why potatoes, Abosh replied, I see commonality between humans and potatoes that speak to our relationship as individuals within a collective species. Generally, the life of a harvested potato is violent and taken for granted. I use the potato as a proxy for the ontological study of the human experience. All right, easy, Oscar Wilde. It's a fucking potato, all right? Does anyone want to buy this photo I took of myself standing in front of a mirror wearing a Christmas sweater with my underwear around my ankles? I took it. I'll sell it to you. Look how beautiful that shit looks. The five second rule. Some live by it, others break it. Me, I don't let rules get in the way of myself and a good snack. I once left a hamburger on the ground for 72 hours before picking it back up and eating it. Look at me now. But does the five second rule actually scientifically make sense? For those of you who live under a goddamn rock or don't know how to read, the five second rule is a rule that pertains to dropping food on the ground. If picked up within five seconds, it's still good to eat. Any more than that though, and it's deemed dangerous poison garbage, or just too gross to eat in front of your friends. But according to science, this rule actually makes sense. NASA engineer Mark Rober made a video of himself offering cookies to random people but dropped them on the ground before they could grab one. The results were shocking. Some people wouldn't accept the cookie at all after falling on the ground, completely disregarding the five second rule. But others who grabbed a cookie quickly after it hit the ground were safe from bacteria that does in fact jump onto food when dropped on the floor. Whoops, I've been eating a lot of bacteria. But it's really only when foods or surfaces are wet when there's a real issue. And according to this scientist, foods dropped onto carpets or rugs are safer to eat than foods dropped on, say, linoleum because the food will touch less surface area when it hits a rug or a carpet. That kind of makes sense, right? Because it doesn't hit the whole damn part of the ground. Here's some quotes from Rober. Moist foods left longer than 30 seconds collect 10 times the bacteria than those snapped up after only three. E. coli, salmonella, and listeria love wet environments. They absorb water for the nutrients they need to grow and multiply. So basically, if your food hits the dry ground, that five second rule should keep you safe. But if your food is wet or the ground is wet for some reason, it's best to let the fry go, son. Let the fry go. Words to live by. So thoughts on paying one million dollars on a photo of a potato? And do you live by the five second rule? Or do you not give a care? Let us know in the comments down below. I'm Steve Zaragoza. And also, you really want to buy that photo? Let me know, man. Hit me up. It's just a digital photo. I'll send it to you. Just PayPal me ten dollars. Shit, man, I already got some sales. Just kidding, that's not how that works. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Thank you so much, Phil, for coming on the podcast. I love it. We've been begging you for weeks. We Thank you.